What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video today. We're out here and today we're on the lake. Now, today we're out here searching for crappie. I actually haven't been crappie fishing in a long time, but right here we have the brand new Guggenbaits crappie series. Check these things out. We have a box full of crappie baits to go out today. We have tons of bait in here. There's like four different ones. I'm about to show you guys what we got in here. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure that subscribe button for me. I would really appreciate it. About 62% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you guys hit that button, helps out the channel. And uh, we're also gonna be doing a giveaway today, but I'm gonna be giving away a few crappie baits in this video. I'm gonna go buy some and uh, send them out to you guys. All you guys have to do to win is be subscribed to the channel and to make sure to leave a comment. Maybe leave a comment of which one is your favorite. But since it's the holiday season, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway in every video so if you guys want a chance to win some of these make sure to leave a comment also to be aware of scammers giveaways on my channel are completely free it's a way for me to give back to you guys for the support but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we have in the box but if you guys want to go and pick up some of the new crappie series you guys can go to guggensquad.com it'll be linked down below in the description you guys can use logan at checkout and save 10 percent off your order but we're gonna go ahead and show you guys what we got in here i think we have like two of every color so we're pretty loaded we're not gonna run out of baits that's for sure all right so right here we have the dangle dart and the black jack color which is actually really cool it's like a pink and black we got the uh the bumping bug which is actually really cool i'm probably going to use this the most it just looks really good perfect for the crappies we got we got a box full we got the chubby grubby right here this is in the toxic waste color honestly it looks really really cool and then uh let's see we got the snacky swimmer right here so it's like a little paddle tail and uh, we have a bunch of different colors in here this box is absolutely loaded full if you can't tell and uh, hopefully we're gonna go out today and catch some crappie, crappy, whatever you wanna call them. We got a few spots that we're gonna go run by and uh, see what happens, but uh, me and this lake just have bad history together. I'd never catch anything out here, so uh, we're gonna see how this goes. But we're gonna go ahead, get rigged up, hit the spot, and uh, see if we can catch some fish. All right, so we're about to rig up. I have three rods on the deck. We have two little crappie rods, one that has a uh, little Guggen green reel on there. Then we have a black series rod with a, a gold series spinning reel on there. And uh, that's the setup for the day. All right, so I'm about to tie up a little natural chubby grubby. And uh, what we're throwing these on is a little eye hole jig. So I'm gonna leave him linked down below in the description. He makes some really cool jig heads. They have like little eye holes in them and you push the, uh, the little scent we're gonna be using inside of the eye and it holds it. So uh, we got that and we have our uh, Guggenbaits crappie series. So we are at spot number one. I almost just fell in right there. Say, uh, it's a little choppy out today. We were on the boat ride over here and it was uh, it was legit. This is what we're starting with, the Chubby Grubby. Looks pretty good on there. We got the Guggen 1000 green size. This is our uh, crappie setup. So we're gonna troll around on live scope and hopefully find crappie. That's the goal for the whole entire day. Catch a few, maybe cook a few later. And uh, we just gotta catch them first. So let's go ahead, let's put these Guggen baits crappie series to the test. All right, so we are going to start with the chubby grubby. We got the uh, eye hole jig, and these things are really cool because you get these little scent things, and then you grab one, and if I can grab one, you grab one and you push it in the eye, and that scent just stays in there. So you just push it on both sides, and uh, that actually helps the crappie eat a little bit, gives them something to smell and to uh, be attracted to. So stick that right there and uh, get to casting. Left more? Oh, there they are. I think it's, I think it's off to the uh, left. No, it's or right. right. No, look. Or whichever way. It's, it's straight out. That's it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we found it. All right, we're good. Oh, I'm getting excited. <laughs> I see on there's fish on it. It looks like it. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and shrink this down so we can get like right on top of them. Are they all right here on the bottom? No, they're yeah, on the outside right there, of them. Right there where you, oh, uh, it's like 30 foot right here. Yeah, there's fish on it though, isn't it? Put your bait all the way down. I just can't see my baits. We're in such deeper water. That's the last one. Oh, there they are. Look at that. Look at that school. Dude. Is that school of crappie? That's it, yeah. Shoot, they're moving quick. All right, well, we are uh, heading to spot number two. Spot number one was uh, too windy. So we're moving on. We There was fish there. It's just you can't really keep up with them and live scope them. And uh, it's definitely easier to have live scope and watch the fish eat it. But, you know, on to spot number two. Let's see what happens. Nope, I'm going in on We're about to find out what they are. One's on me. Oh, there's one. Oh, I missed it. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. It's a freaking bluegill. <laughs> hey, at least it is a fish. All right, in the in the in the pan he goes. I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh, dude! It definitely felt like a bigger bite down there though. I don't know if it's maybe they're mixed in. I really hope it is because then I kind of understand what that's. That's definitely crappie, I think. Oh, I'm on! I'm on! I got something. Oh, I got one. Crappy. It's a bass. Ah. Hey, it's a fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. The one time I come out here to catch crappie, I catch every other species. I've caught a bluegill and now a bass. Micro bass. Thanks, bud. Not what I want though. But this is this is potential. <laughs> if I came out here and fished for bass, I would never catch one. That's just that's hilarious to me. It's a good sign though. It's a good sign that there's fish there. We're in 10 foot right now, so this might be perfect. I really do think that there's crappie on this. If there's bass, there's definitely crappie. And it, there's like a bunch of marks right here, so it's gotta be at least some fish hanging around. All right, we are out here for a uh, lunch break. We've been fishing straight for since this morning. We haven't stopped. We've uh, scanned a lot of stuff. We've went a lot of places and we've caught every species, but crappie, the intended species. We've literally caught bluegill, we've caught bass. But if I was to come out here and fish for bass, I wouldn't catch a single one. So I don't know what the plan is. We're gonna keep trying to catch crappie, but uh, we're just gonna catch fish we just need to at least catch fish make the trip worth it but i don't know where the crop you're at but hopefully we can figure something out wow the boat ramp is packed wow that's crazy all right we're about to take a, a quick lunch break eat some uh, hot dogs and uh we're gonna get back to it here we are no crappie in the boat <laughs> if there's one fish species i hate it is now the crappie Uh, that was sick. That was so sick. It's supposed to be good. Uh... Bro, they love whenever you use it like that. That's actually cool. I was just walking it, and this tiny little bass just smacked it. Does he look big? Hold on. No. Oh, new PV for sure. Wow, we've caught every species but crappie. Thanks, bud. Hey, at least we're catching fish. Bro, you sit there? And you get this little, uh, this little grub walking back and forth, bro. Those bass smack that thing. Get crappy. Left of the shad. Crap. Like right there, then. Oh, I'm right on top of him. Let's we'll see if he actually eats. Oh my god, I fell right on top of one. I just got bit. Look at that. That's crappy, I think. See that crap you're at? All this crappy that lighter cut. Oh, oh, I got. I just got smashed, bro. 
He came up angry for that thing. What are you thinking? We think we should follow the bait or go up shallow? Gets them every time. You just you just landed on a fish. I literally saw him. I was about to say, is that a fish sitting there? And you landed on it and spooked him. I think it was a bass. <laughs> oh, I got one. Yes, micro bass. Let's go. My favorite thing to catch. It's better than nothing. It's actually fun watching him sit there and eat this thing. Yeah, the saucy swimmer. I'm catching some absolute studs today. Look at this guy. Thanks, bud. I'm just glad we're actually catching fish. It could be worse. We could be out here and have no crappie or anything, but at least we have something. At least we have no crappie. I don't have my pride, but at least I have fish. This corner over here looks juice. Fish. I'm on the micro bass bass bite today. Let's go. Number six. Well, see ya. You know, they might be tiny, but a fish is a fish. Oh my god, I just hit the filthiest skip of the century. Too bad I'm in a tree. Oh, I see a micro bluegill. I gotta catch him. That's my goal. I want to catch the smallest fish in Ufala and set the new lake record. I just got bit. I'm getting smoked. I'm on. Yes! It's a bass! I've caught so many bass today. They've just been like literally inches. Tanks, baby. Tanks. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this stud. See you, bud. Go tell your friends that they're not safe. Did you know that you don't have to clamp a spinning reel down. What? Look, you cast out there and it does it itself. This one doesn't. Some dude told me that and I was like, no way. <laughs> Cause I just never do that. Creepy. Oh my God, heads up. I just got smoked, bro. I'm about to get bit on this cast. I'm calling my shot. Oh, I just got bit. Oh, we're on. Good one. Nice Good one. one. What is that? Cat. No, that might be a gar. That is oh, it's. A gar. <gasps> oh my I gosh. On our net either. I'll just boat flip that floor. <laughs> We've literally caught every species but a crappie. Look at that fool. Bro, these things feel so weird. I feel like I'm touching nothing. This is crazy. Stick your finger in his mouth real quick. I bet, bet, bet. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I ain't doing that. I've actually never landed one of these. I've hooked a ton of them. I've never got one in the boat. Check him out. Let's get him back. See you, buddy. Oh, that is so disgusting. I would just like to say that these, uh, these crappie, crappie baits, um, they catch everything. It doesn't have to be a crappie. Like... I've actually caught more bass than I have out here, I think, ever. And we're literally just fishing with tiny stuff. But they're eating. Oh, my gosh, it's big. Oh, it was another one of those things. Bro, it was huge. It just snapped me off. A grass pickle? It was freaking massive. It was way bigger than that other one. All right, well, right there, we went out, caught some, uh, we actually didn't catch any crappy. We caught pickerel we caught bluegill and we caught micro bass we caught three species of fish and not the intended species so we're definitely gonna have to bring these out again and get on some crappy crappie whatever you want to call them i just we just couldn't find them we found a few of them they wouldn't need it was it was rough i don't even know how to really describe the trip i tried catching them like two days and uh yeah we didn't we didn't catch any so we're definitely gonna have to bust these out again in the future but i wanted to go ahead and show you guys that these actually are really good baits for multi-species who knew we uh we even caught a new species i've never caught a pickerel before so add that to the species list and we got to test these things out they were a lot of fun but since it is december i'm gonna be trying to do christmas giveaways for you guys in every video so make sure to come back and see what is up for grabs but if you guys want to grab a few packs all you have to do is make sure to be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below and if you guys want to pick some of these up you guys can go to google squad 
Amazon.com and use Logan at checkout and save some money. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay fishing.